Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to attend today's gathering hosted by our Confederations of Business Association and to meet with the candidates in person. Confederations of Great Toronto Chinese Business Association is made up of four business Chinese associations, namely the Toronto Chinese Business Association, the Richmond Hill Chinese Business Association, the Mississauga Chinese Business Association, and the Scarborough and York Region Chinese Business Association. Since the election campaign is at its highest peak, our members and the committee at large would like to know every individual candidate's platform and to hear directly from them what they would be able to best serve should they be selected to office. First of all, let's give the round of applause to our candidates for taking the time and such a short time to come to take today's questionnaire section. Let's I'm just here to encourage all of you to come out and vote. Uh, the Chinese community has a voice and we should come out and vote. Thank you. 我是代表美斯沙加华商会北斗我是会长今天的目的呢华商总会的目的主要是要鼓励华人社区在十一月十三号一定要出来投票这是你们的权利这是你们的权利你一定要选择这个权利因为接下来的话呢明年就是选选那么非常重要这一次呢大家能够出来参选那么多中国人的候选人就表示中国人对这个政治的时候已经到了那希望大家在十一月十三号一定要出来参选出来投你的一票谢谢谢谢谢谢谢谢谢谢谢谢谢
and it's a, I have to congratulate the business associations for bringing together candidates that are running in Markham, bringing together the Chinese community, and also thanks to Pacific Mall for hosting this forum so that more people in the Chinese community can find out about local politics. I just want to say that I've had the pleasure and honor of representing Markham for the past 18 years as a regional councillor, deputy mayor, and as mayor. And you know, the Chinese community has grown tremendously, and I think now it's very easy for people to come forward and say they support the Chinese community because there's so many here in Markham. But let me tell you, there was a number of years ago when there wasn't so many Chinese people in Markham that I stood up on Markham Council and supported the development of Pacific Mall because I thought it was an exciting project, a project that was going to be a tourist attraction for people all across the greater Toronto area. And I recognized that the town of Markham was changing, that we were becoming culturally diverse. And today, we have people living here from every corner of the world, and I'm proud that Markham is so culturally diverse. And I think it's great that we have the Pacific Mall sitting here for the Chinese community, but indeed it's now become an attraction for so many communities. When I look out into the audience, when I've been here shopping, I see people of all backgrounds who've come to enjoy the culture of the Chinese. Now, I only have two minutes. Please take time to read my brochure. It's right here. And I believe I'm the only candidate for mayor, maybe the only candidate running, I'm not sure, that's translated their brochure in Chinese. So please take time to take a look at that and find out a little bit more about my platform. In closing, I want to say my campaign slogan is, We are Markham. Three words, we are Markham. Now in Chinese, it's a bit more than three words. Or they yat che chow hai Markham. Did I get that close? And you know what? When I become the mayor of Markham, let me reassure you that regardless of race, religion, color of skin, country of origin, whether you live in the east part of Markham or whether you live in Thornhill or in the north part of Markham, you will be treated with the utmost respect in the new Markham. And I'm reaching out to all communities. And I hope that candidates, win or lose, will stay involved in the political process to help shape the future of Markham. Please take time to read my brochure. Look forward to your questions. Doce, thank you very much. It is an opportunity uh, offered by the Confederation of uh, Chinese Business Associations. But I think this is important for all of us to uh, not only come out to vote, but to be an informed voter. You need to look at the uh, platform of various candidates and then decide what is best for you, what you believe in. And what I would like to talk about is that um, for Markham, transportation, economic development, environmental protection, and public safety are my main issues. A number of residents have spoken to me that, yes, of course, everyone knows about gridlock, but they also uh, are very worried about public safety. So I know my time is limited, but I want to say this, that for public safety, it is not enough for us to totally rely on the police officers. I was a member of the police service, services board before, and I know that they are fine men and women. However, their resources and time are limited, and I think we must work with them and other organizations, including youth, multicultural, and faith groups to make this a harmonious uh, society and to make sure that community policing works. On economic development, I know that Markham has been relatively successful in attracting top-tier companies into our town, and that, of course, is successful in expanding our commercial and industrial tax base. But more than that, we should be able to uh, work with many of our uh, new immigrants who need uh, their first job because oftentimes they've been told that, well, without any Canadian experience, uh, we're not going to hire you. Uh, we've had uh, programs before when we work with employers 
uh, to provide them the opportunity of employment and oftentimes they will be able to continue on with the same employer or uh, at other locations. All they need is the opportunity because many of them, many of them are very well qualified. In addition to that, Markham is very well positioned in international economic development and of course many of you know that we've established a strong economic alliance with the city of Wuhan in China. We have many residents from various countries including China and India and I know that they are excellent bridges for us because they do have the uh, business experience and the business uh, knowledge of the business culture. Now I don't know if my time is up but I want to thank the uh, Confederation again for giving me this opportunity. Thank you. Yes, thank you very much and uh, I'd like to thank the uh, Chinese Business Association for putting this on. Uh, I've been on, uh, involved in the political scene in the Markham area for 15 out of the last 18 years. I've been a ward councillor for Unionville, 88, 91 and 94 and I was very lucky in 97 to be elected the Member of Parliament for Markham, uh, representing you in Ottawa and I came back in 2003 and now I'm a regional councillor. The projects that I am uh, have on my platform over there and it's on the desk is I'm focusing on things like gridlock, health and wellness, cultural integration, and, and reduced crime. Uh, the top thing on my platform it really is rapid transit. Uh, I like to turn the go line out here into uh, above ground subway line I believe that this area here and what's south on the South of Steels and the new emerging Millican Mills Center is becoming a major destination. And let's get let's friendly up the interfaces so that you can move easily from one one area to another, whether it's across the tracks or across the street. Uh, also up the street, uh, I uh, at, along the 407, uh, it's it's uh, quite a few years away. I'd like to advance that agenda, and that's rapid rail along the south side of the 407. As you're aware, that one GO train takes 1,600 uh, people and can take 1,400 cars off off the uh, uh, the road, and and that's what we got to do. We got to move people fast, efficient, and and uh, affordable. Uh, I also like to bring the Young Subway work on with the group of Vaughn and Richmond Hill to bring that up to the 407. And with those three initiatives, that will resolve a lot. The uh, second initiative, which I began a year ago, and Frank uh, Scarpitti, is the National or the Canadian Sports Institute, which is a mile up the street. And it's going to be major, major athletic facilities uh, for our youth in, in the surrounding area. Because if we just try to do it as Markham, I won't get funding from the feds or the province. And I believe that if we keep our youth busy, uh, we'll keep them out of trouble. And then the uh, last initiative is uh, sports fields. As you're aware, the Millican Mills uh, uh, Park down the road here, the soccer fields are getting ripped away. And we've been working on uh, putting sports fields in the 407 corridor. Thank you, Mr. Jim Jones. I am running because, you know, like I see, Markham did a dramatic change. For almost 20 years, you see all the development going up here. When you come to Markham Pacific Mall especially, you see the traffic is clogged down. I have difficulty to find my parking. I've been circling for the last 15 minutes just to find a parking lot. Finally, I have to give up. I have to turn the key over to my driver and say, why don't you go and find a parking yourself? So this is a very crucial thing, traffic. We have to address that issue. And secondly, the property tax has been increasing every year, especially property right across Pacific Mall has been increasing year after year, and the town of Markham have never paid any attention to this area. And thirdly, you know, policing is a key issue. Uh, as a Chinese Canadian, we always value about law and order. I environment you know, like no one in the council today are talking about environment. They just dug the feet, 
put ahead in her son. They don't seem to know what's going on in, in, in your region. Okay, so this is a problem I want to address about, you know, thank you for coming out today. Hopefully you can vote for me on November 13th. Thank you. Okay, now we're going to have the board counselor, the counselor candidates to speak. First, uh, award to Howard Schoen. My name is Howard Schoen. I'm a senior Okay, 他知道他們的困難 我有感覺。我知道我們單住係希望係經濟上面穩定,係唔係交通方面,係安全方面都有好多嘅新嘅改變係推過嚟。咁我呢方面有好多嘅新嘅政策同方案,可能同大家分享嘅。Thank you. Your opinions, your voice matters. Thank you. Your name is Ivy. I'm running for Ward Four Councillor. Uh, I just want to say that uh, I grew up in Markham. I went to Markham schools. I drive on Markham Road, and I take public transit. And uh, these issues, I know about the issues. I live there, and I talk to residents. Uh, I know besides traffic, we talk about traffic, property tax. I know community is very important in my ward, and uh, I hope to bring a closer to community together. And I promise to work hard for the community. Thank you. Hello, I'm Kevin. I'm the Jin Guan, the third of the three candidates. We have from Canada, from 1977. We have been here for nine years. 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 我們已經很多區做到我們的國家好地方,一部分國家,一部分的平民,咁如果好多出出出名的商業我們就所以今次我特登出來參選,希望幫助所有咁多區區居民,唔該曬多謝。我的名字是Jeffrey Rowe,the reason be really part of this society. I'm proud of to be tied in two great countries, which is Canada and China. Uh, I'm to be a goal to make a government and to share with the government. I'm going to be a goal to be 給我們的那個吃喝啊取一個一個服務,所以我希望做一個發表會,remember。Hello everybody, my name is Jeremy Choi and I'm running for Ward 8 Councillor. One of my many visions is to solve the public uh, the traffic gridlock around this problem, around this neighborhood. And how are we going to do that? We need to promote and improve the public transit system by rebranding Viva and YRT as an economical and smart choice. And who is better to do that than someone who actually takes the public transit, who actually uses it? So we need to make sure our roads on Kennedy, on Warren, on Birchmount are, can accommodate the amount of traffic that we have in our growing society. Especially right now, they're doing a new zoning at Midland Steel. They're doing a new zoning for Kennedy and Courtney to build more condos. We're introducing 300 to 400 more cars on the road. We need to make it an efficient public transit so we can accommodate the amount of traffic that we're going to eventually have. Thank you. Good afternoon. 
Ivy Lee is known to many of you. She's been a resident in this ward for many, many years. She's been very active on the Canada Day Celebrations Committee. She's the editor-in-chief of Modesty Magazine. And she's running because she believes that Ward 8 needs a counsellor who listens to the residents and acts on their concerns. So she's been out there talking to the residents of Ward 8. She's heard what the concerns are and she's eager to get into action after November 13th and represent you very strongly on Markham Council. Thank you so much for offering Ivy the... This question actually is very dear to me. I came from Sweden. I lived in Sweden for 12 years. In the near 30 years ago, Sweden, when we talk about incineration, everyone is scared because of the black toxic smoke. In the last 30 years, Sweden has made a substantial improvement in environment issue. They are able to turn the way to energy. I am the only candidate in Markham candidate running for regional council that have been talking every debate in every meeting. I have yet to hear a single of them, the candidates sitting on this table, that to talk about this issue here. Last week, I had a chance to meet the King of Sweden, and he was very surprised when he met the Toronto delegation. It seemed to be no one is interested to talk about incineration. They all talk about to buy landfill and dump the landfill. Look at what happened in war a couple of years ago. That was shut down. Okay, it's not work. That's a short-term solution. Make sure that, you know, this is a great technology. It's very clean. You don't have to look any further. Just look at Sweden. And you know, when you elect me, you can rest assured that this will be on my agenda on the top topics. Thank you. Afia Tony Wong, please. Thank you for the question. I think uh, we uh, did not have knowledge or enough knowledge of uh, the incineration technology uh, a few years ago. But of course, you know now the technology has matured. But not only incineration; there are other technologies such as plasma technology that will be able to deal with manage waste management in an effective way. And yes, we should absolutely look at these new technologies. I'm all for it. 我想跟大家说的就是其实潜艇是很发展的科技是很新的发展最近我们也参与了一些新的发展就是说我们也参与了一些新的发展就是说我们也参与了一些新的发展進一步研究而最近去回到我們教會的安徒華也是做了第一個嘗試的這個我不知道叫什麼路叫做變做氣體的路我覺得現在很多新的科技已經是幾年前我們不知道而我知道是混發的科技在歐洲也是用得很普
we now divert 70, close to 70% of the garbage that would have gone to landfill or would have gone to an incinerator, we're able to use that material for something else. And I think that's good for the environment and I think that's the right strategy. Now, after all is said and done, we're still going to end up with some garbage and we are currently looking at energy from waste, building a facility that will either burn or use new technology to destroy that material, create steam which will turn the turbines and create electricity. And one of the things, and I think one of the things you should ask all the regional councillor candidates, because there hasn't been support around the regional council table yet, if we build an incinerator, will they support an additional process before the material goes in to the incinerator, I want to make sure there's an additional process that removes anything that can be recycled before it gets burned. So it's one more step in the process and I hope that the regional council candidates will answer that question because so far there hasn't been support around the regional council table to do that. We should make sure we take all of the garbage we can out of the stream before we burn it. And then if we have to burn it or we have to use some new technology, I support using that to create electricity for the province of Ontario. Thank you. Thank you, Frank. Frank is talking about what the most important thing is. There are blue bank and things like that. He is a very supportive of the technology. But he has been able to do this in the future. He has been able to do this in the future. He has been able to do this in the future. He has been able to do this in the future. He has been able to do this in the future. He has been able to do this in the future. Thank you.